Welcome to Tech Brothers Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create detailed report from a basics. And we have created this report by using the SSRS report wizard. Now we will be creating a from the empty report. So there, there is a lot of things that we need to learn in this one. We create a SSRS project. We are going to prepare our SQL query. We are going to create empty report. We are going to create shared data source. And then we are going to create a data set by using our query that we has prepared. And finally, we'll be using a, uh, the table report item to display our data from the data set. Now, let me show you the data first. Let's prepare our query. So when you somebody asks you to write a uh, report, uh, you will be first uh, taking a look into the tables uh, or the any source uh, from where you need to extract the data. In my case, uh, I'm extracting data from a total sales uh, table and it is in the sales uh, database. Uh, now, if you see, I have salesperson first name, last name, product names, items sold, sold price uh, and the other columns such as the uh, country, region, state. Uh, I do not need uh, all of them. Uh, if my report or a business user is asking, okay, create me a report only with the first name, last name, and product and item sold. So I don't need everything. Now, in this case, I have sale person name. Maybe they don't want the, the report as sale person name. They just want, okay, sale person name, first name as first name. So they know that this is uh, the sale person name uh, because uh, the report name will say okay total sale by the maybe we can say by our sale persons uh, so they don't need a sale person of f name uh, they need only say as a first name uh, so we will prepare uh, our fields uh, according to the requirement uh, second part uh, is the last name uh, so we'll say sale person last name and uh, this one we are going to call it last name and here then we need a product name and the comma we need the items sold and then we need sold data maybe that's all we need so let's uh, keep it uh, simple now run the query I always recommend write, uh, writing your queries in the SSMS uh, and uh, then test them out. Uh, so in this case, uh, we are selecting data from uh, simply w from one table. Uh, in your case, uh, there could be possibilities you will be writing joins, left join, inner join, outer join, and uh, maybe using some other functions uh, and write complex uh, select queries. Uh, now once you are done with the writing a query, you will be opening a SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. Uh, so once uh, you are in, in the SSDT, you will go to the file, new, project, and here we will be creating a reporting services uh, project. So we select report server project here. We do not want to create anything with the wizard. We are done. We have created a lot of reports uh, already. So I'm going to call this one SSRS uh, underscore project. And uh, it is taken the solution name as it is, uh, but uh, whatever we have provided in the project, uh, that's not a nice name. So I'm going to call this one uh, SSRS uh, solution. Uh, a solution can have multiple uh, projects, uh, and uh, this is uh, the path uh, or folder where I'm saving my solution and uh, projects. Uh, so hit OK. Now, the very first thing uh, we need to do here, we have shared data sources, shared data set, uh, and reports. Uh, we need to create uh, a shared data source uh, why, why I call shared because that data source can be used uh, by multiple reports uh, as it will be if uh, you are getting the data from the same database uh, now let me right click here say add new data source and we are going to call this one sales as we are extracting the data from sale database and the type is the SQL server right because that's where that's the type of a database I'm using so if you are using Oracle or Teradata you can go ahead and select that relational database management system in my case it is the Microsoft SQL server now hit edit and here you have to provide the SQL server name and then uh, you have to provide uh, the database name uh, so in my case it is sales uh, you can test the connection is good idea hit ok and uh, this is the connection string it created uh, so data source is equal to server name and then uh, you have a semicolon and then you have initial catalog that's your database uh, name now hit ok we are good next uh, we will be coming to the reports uh, and clicking here and uh, not going to the add new report uh, that this one initiate uh, a wizard we don't want to do that we want to create empty report uh, so go to add new item and here we have different uh, 
items available we have a report wizard report data source and data set we are creating an empty report so let's go back here and call this one sale report add once uh, you will add the, the report this is how it will be looking like uh, you will see the design that's where we are going to design our report uh, now the preview part uh, where we will see the report after the design how will uh, this report will look like uh, to the user so design and preview are important tabs here and the uh, next uh, we have report data sometimes you don't see the report data and uh, what happened it is uh, not there or somebody has uh, closed it or your project didn't bring it up so you will go to the view and then the last uh, uh, option we have here is called the report data that's where we will be creating uh, the reference to our shared data sources uh, or we will be creating embedded data source uh, if we need to and then uh, here we will be creating the data sets uh. so this uh, shared data source uh, is uh, created in the project uh, and in this pro uh, report we can uh, reference uh, to that uh, shared data source uh. right click here and say add data source uh, and uh, now we can use embedded that means this will be available only to this report and we don't need that uh, we can use the shared one so i'm going to call this one ds sales and uh, here i'm, I'm going to tell it okay use shared data source reference so once i use the sales and uh, this is it now you see that there is a small arrow very small arrow that tells us that this is referencing or pointing to the sales uh, 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 shared data source uh, in our project uh, next uh, we'll be creating a data set uh, we have prepared our query already so this is pretty easy right click here add data set uh, so data set uh, is uh, the result set uh, return uh, by the our query so we can use a shared data set uh, or we can create uh, the embedded one if you will watch uh, my uh, other videos uh, we have talked about that <coughs> what are shared data set shared data sets are the data sets uh, uh, those result sets can be used across multiple reports and in case uh, you have month names and you want to use them in a parameter it's a good idea to create a shared uh, data set but in this case uh, we do not need to do that uh, our query is very specific uh, for this report uh, and we can use this one as embedded now once we say embedded data set uh, and then it is asking uh, which data source uh, you want to use it and we want to use uh, DS sales that's referencing to the sales uh, uh, shared data source in our project uh, and here we will be providing uh, the query now we can use uh, the text uh, as a query here and we can use the store procedure the table is grayed out uh, we will go ahead uh, and uh, I will explain uh, where exactly we need to use uh, this uh, option uh, so in uh, the coming videos I will explain this part let's go and check the fields the fields are coming correct uh, so if you want to rename something you can go ahead and rename here this is a field source uh, and uh, if you made a mistake uh, and you feel like oh okay I should change it here you can go ahead and do it uh, also if you ask me I would not do it here I will do the things in the query first whatever I can control in the query I will handle that in the query and uh, then leave very minimum changes here so um, by doing it I mean it's really helpful just change the query and uh, you are done now with the options uh, I'm gonna leave this one as it is there are no filters and parameter things uh, so we have query this is the query we have written and hit ok we will explore all these options I'm gonna go very detailed in this tutorial so hit ok now all those fields uh, what we selected they show up uh, right here one thing if you remember we said data set one that doesn't really make sense if you have another data set that will be data set 2 so that's really not great name go to data set properties and call this one we can call this one uh, data set maybe D set and say okay total sale so this uh, tells us okay this is coming in this data set is coming from the total sale table so give some good proper name hit okay now we are fine next part is uh, we need to bring a table uh, and uh, create uh, our tabular report or detailer report in this report we are going to use uh, two things first of all I'm going to use a text box so you can go ahead and insert a text box here you right click here and then say insert and text box this is one way to do it another part we have toolbox so if you click here 
uh, you will see the toolbox and this is, has exactly the same things uh, what we see right click and, uh, and insert and uh, uh, then we see all those uh, items here so your choice uh, if you like toolbox uh, you can uh, click here and have it here or if you don't like it uh, you can remove it from here and uh, if uh, you totally lost your toolbox uh, and you want to see it you will go to view and uh, you have a toolbox uh, right here so that's how you will bring it back okay and then uh, uh, right click here in the insert I'm going to use a text box and uh, I'm going to call this one I'm going to put uh, the report name here and I will say sale report now this part uh, doesn't really look great uh, so what you need to do you need to do some formatting uh, once you select this part you can make it bold you can uh, make it uh, maybe a little bigger and uh, okay say Arial is not great uh, font size I like it uh, maybe I don't like something different so select that one and uh, if you want to have bag uh, color in the background you can select that color so these are different options available to us when you select this one they all um, show up and uh, if you don't select select on the side they are hiding and uh, this is the properties what we have on the report that's what we see when you click on that one all those options uh, they will show up uh, and we can make it italic you know underline and all those kind of things uh, we can do it uh, now if we preview the report uh, this is going to show us only that part uh, whatever the name we have put for this uh, report uh, go to design we need to bring the data so right click here go to insert and bring a table once you bring the table uh, there are multiple ways you see uh, you can move this one here adjust uh, the settings and everything and also when you move this one and you see that there is a blue line show up uh, so that uh, really helps in the alignment of uh, or uh, on the different uh, items so now they both are in equal in length or width whatever you call sorry this is a, a length the width is different so they are equal in the length here you have option now the table is there so we have multiple ways to put this the data first of all remove the toolbox because we are concerned about the data fields here that is from coming from the data set I want to put the first name I can drag it here and then I can move the last name here so every time I just drag the things here and blue line show off show up and then you just leave that and item sold and sold data so that's how it will be uh, come in now you see that this one is really good you can right click here and delete it if you want you let's say we delete it and now if we want to add we can always right click here and add a new column insert column left or right whatever we want to do we can do it so if I want to do right this empty column is added now if I don't have to drag the things from here I can uh, once the column is added I can click here on this one and add those columns from here so uh, let's say if I want to go ahead and here and add a new column on the right and then click here and then bring the sold data here so that's how our first report will look like uh, let's go and preview we have few things to do close this one so this report is looking great uh, but uh, remember with the wizard this report was really excellent report right away because wizard has some formatting and everything and it took the background colors and fonts and it was presenting us a nice looking report so let's go back and fix these things first of all let's uh, we want to change the background color and uh, of these headings uh, in even uh, let's say there is a first name with the space you can always click and remove the space and uh, if you want to put space you can go ahead and put it if you want to add something to name uh, of the, this column you can go ahead and do it so it is a totally your choice uh, I'm removing the spaces here so just to show like it, it is possible to do it next uh, I will click here and then click here and uh, that will select the entire column row now I can make it uh, bold and uh, then I can uh, change the background color so in this case I'm gonna select this color I'm very bad with the names of the color light blue when I hover that's what it is showing fine now with the other fields I'm fine I don't care about the data uh, details uh, this was the only part I wanted to now we go and preview so it's looking much better next uh, if you see that the sold date is coming as a date and time is totally messed up uh, this uh, uh, our report is not great report here so we need to fix our uh, date so date in the in the column you need to click here and once you click it here you can go to the text box properties uh, 
and then here you have different options available to you you can put a border fill with the color visibility um, um, sorting a lot of things can be done from here but uh, we are going to change just the format as of now and uh, we will explore the, these other options later go to numbers and in the number we have categories uh, and here we know that our data is the date data now once we select the date it gives us a different types uh, okay which one you want in so in my case I want uh, this one fine now preview the report so this is how your report will be looking like uh, now we also it is very easy if we want to move the whole thing you can click it here play a couple more times and click it here and then you can move it uh, to different uh, places the same goes for the text box so see this is a four uh, way arrow uh, you can use that one and move your items uh. now if uh, you want to have more space or less space for the first name so you can always uh, click on these lines uh, that's dividing the cells uh, so you can always move uh, them uh, as a requirement uh. so if uh, you can adjust them in the sale item you feel like oh, sale item is not really big number and I don't need this much space uh, and uh, this is how you will bring them close so you see th this messed up uh, because we have uh, make it too short uh, so we know that okay we need to move this a little bit give more space so this is it so we have created uh, our very first uh, uh, detail uh, or tabular report uh, and uh, we have learned a few things uh, how to use uh, uh, the mm, the text box uh, we have also learned how to use a table and uh, create a different data set uh, in this case uh, we have created only one data set uh, if we want to create another one no big deal we can have uh, another data set uh, and uh, use the same way embedded and the data sources and provide the query and once we have multiple data sets uh, we can use uh, maybe uh, another table we want to do right here after this one we can use that so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, I'm looking forward to have you guys in the next video.